This week, we've got a pile of covers, interiors, and other reveals from New York Comic Con and more. Just studying up on my Star Wars news. I'm imagining things. Let's get to the news. Last weekend at New York Comic Con, along with all those delicious exclusives, we picked up some Star Wars publishing news and reveals. Since our friends at Star Wars The High Republic show have all your High Republic needs covered this month, and there's plenty of news to go around, we'll give you just one quick glimpse at this page from inside the art of Star Wars The High Republic. Ooh. And here's what you missed in every other era of Star Wars storytelling. Delilah Dawson is back with a new Inquisitor novel called Rise of the Red Blade out next year. Writer Justina Ireland and artist Pere Perez are giving Sana Staros her very own Marvel miniseries this February, and we got a cover and some pages. On Solo Who? Speaking of comic book covers, we caught our first glimpse at Dr. Afra number 29, Bounty Hunters number 29, Han Solo and Chewbacca number 9, and Star Wars Revelations, including some interior inks we got even more sneak peeks inside Star Wars timelines, and grab a bowl of root leaf stew for a new page from Inside Star Wars 100 Objects featuring Yoda's Blissel. Of course, we have another new episode of Andor to talk about this week. The time to skip ahead is right now if you've not yet watched episode five, The X Forgets. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do I think Edie Karn, Cyril's mom, deserves her own spin-off show? Yes, yes I do. In the latest installment, Cyril returned home to Coruscant after his failure on Ferrix, while ISB supervisor Dedra Mira was combing through Imperial data to support her theory of a burgeoning rebellion through calculated but spread out attacks. Coruscant is very busy this time of year, as elsewhere we found tensions rising in the Mothma household as her dedication to her secret pulled Mon's focus from her family, and Luthen and his assistant Clea were busy toiling away in their shop, getting nervous about what was about to go down on Aldani. Speaking of, Cassian Andor, Andor Clem, and his mission squad were in the final stages of prepping their infiltration behind enemy lines, which unfortunately meant burning Nemec's carefully constructed model of the Imperial Garrison. Sorry, Nemec. With everyone on edge, tempers were high, and Skeen and Cassian almost got into fisticuffs over Luthen's very pretty kyber necklace. Luckily, episode six, The Eye, is streaming right now on Disney+, Plus, which means the wait is over to find out what happens next. Now, we're excited to be joined by Andor creator and executive producer, Tony Gilroy. Tony, you have a long history of working on spy thrillers, Rogue One included. How do you take those elements of intrigue, espionage, and a noir sensibility and translate that into the Star Wars galaxy? This is a chance to do a show about the ordinary people of this galaxy and the pressure that they're put under by these sort of tectonic revolutionary pressures that are being put on them from all sides. The people who are ignoring it and been ignoring it and trying to ignore it, you got people who have been fighting it from the beginning, you have people that are being dragged into it against their will, you got people that are coming into it for theoretical reasons, and you got people that are coming in for revenge. That's what's fascinating. Thrillers are always people under pressure. But what's great is all of the outer problems all of the outer pressures that weigh down on people expose all of the other problems that they have and heighten all the problems that they have in their lives. And in a thriller, that's the buy-in from the beginning. I can't imagine writing black and white. I believed in every villain I've ever written. You really gotta believe in them, you gotta love them. And you gotta know why they're doing it and you gotta feel for it and there has to be a reason for it. You gotta get behind everybody. Thank you, Tony, master the craft. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.